Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from your friends at Privateer FX. Well, the long awaited, highly, most highly anticipated economic data point in years, according to a couple of the analysts that we speak to. US CPI, we talked about it last night in our preview. And uh, I mentioned how important we thought this number would be. Let's take a look at the reaction. The, the number came in better, stronger, both on the core and the headline. The retail sales number was weak. So let's take a look at uh, the reaction. What we were looking to do and what we discussed was to, you wanted to, if it did come in higher, we were trying to sell Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, um, Euro dollar, and bonds and S&Ps. So I brought this down. Here are charts, charts du jour, just so you can take a look and see what happened here. Here's the New Zealand dollar. We're trading, you know, pretty strong um, up near the highs of the session before the number. 73.18 dropped all the way down to 72.38, I believe was low. Um, 72.41 was low, so you know that's a that's a good reaction. It's 80 pips, and that was a little bit more than the straddle was pricing in. Euro dollar started that bar at 123.48 down to 122.76, which happens to be a uh, happened to be a two thirds fib. We'll take a look at that. That held. Here's the Australian dollar bar, big down red bar. Uh, that was off its highs from Asia. As you can see up here, we were up at 78.90 was a high, and then. We were trading about 78.55 when that came out, got down to 77.80. That did its straddle. British pound, you know, a little bit of a sell-off here. Ten-year note, big sell-off. This big red bar. And then the uh, the S&Ps, let's get to the 15-minute S&P bar. Here's your S&P chart from uh, 26.74. There was actually some liquidity. Uh, and you, you were able to sell it through 26.69. And that got all the way down to a low of uh, 26.27. So, you know, some pretty significant moves on the number. But as you can see, you know, this is all, these are all 15-minute bars. The lows were pretty much made on that bar or shortly thereafter in the case of the Australian dollar. Um, you know, 10-year notes continue to grind lower. But as far as currencies went, you know, here's British pound made the low in that 15 minute bar, New Zealand dollar low, uh, and snap back. And then we had a very violent move back up and equities started rallying, bonds continued to, to trade lower and the dollar just got crushed across the board. And, uh, you know, the theme is mainly the concern over the, uh, fiscal stimulus, the, increase in consumer debt in the US, the twin deficits. And this is this is turning into now a, you know, sell US, uh, sell US bonds. Yields went up to about 290 in the 10 year, uh, maybe even a little bit higher. Uh, so just shy of that 3% mark that a lot of analysts were calling for. You know, overall, it, it just turned into a, a dollar bloodbath. And it got tricky on the on the way up. People were, were trying to fade it on the way up. And and got carried out. Um, and, you know, we the dollar pushed to the lows of the day right at the end of right at the end of the day. Here's dollar yen that we we talked about yesterday. Um, why don't we go to the daily closes? I think we discussed that yesterday. You can see here, dollar yen. Um, yesterday we talked about how important this 107.82 level was. This uh, September low close. 2017. Well, we're way down here. We're 100 points lower. We closed, you know, just off the lows of the day, actually. The low, I believe, was uh, right around 70. Uh, let's take a look at the daily chart. I want to show you something that's pretty interesting. Uh, or actually, let's go to the weekly. <clears throat> I drew this little gap here. So you can see here with a pointer, this was the Trump election week low. We went down initially on the Trump election back in 2016. 
went down to 101.19. We closed the week at 106.59, so very powerful reversal. And then remember, our equities went limit down and then pretty much limit up um, that election night. So we closed here, 106.59 in the week. We have a little gap where we opened the next week at 106.88. So we've got about a 30-point gap um, that was trying, got pretty close to being filled. I mean, today's low is 106.72. So the market knew this level and uh, we did have a decent bounce. Uh, again, here's that trend line that we broke. That's a pretty clean break. We're below these old lows, 107.30. Getting into this two thirds FIBO comes in around 106.55. Um, but again, it's just, you know, looking at that daily close, the daily close, it's a new low daily close for this whole move. This dollar still looks in trouble. Um, you know, I do think that if we get maybe low 106s, high 105s, I think that might be a good place next week to buy it, uh, although we could be there the next couple of days. Um, we did bounce a little bit, uh, just taking a look at the hourly. You know, we had the bounce, we got down to 72, and then we bounced back up to 107, 15, 20 area. Um, so that that you know the, the the weak dollar theme is still in play um we do have some cycle work coming in next week that is calling for a dollar bottom um dollar index and you know that would be uh, mainly euro but dollar in plays a plays a part in the dollar index as well so i i'm not looking to fade this dollar weakness just yet but i do think that uh you know in the next week i'll be looking to uh to get long some dollars uh, economic data coming up, we have the Australian uh, jobs number, and we have, that's coming out in a, about an hour or so. The employment change is expected, uh, 15,000 increase in jobs, um, and we don't really have much. Uh, we got some second-tier numbers uh, tomorrow during New York, and nothing nothing much really in uh, Europe. Some, some uh, let's just take a look here. ECB speakers uh, and uh, yeah, nothing major, nothing really major out of Europe. So keep a uh, keep an eye out for us on the European Open and good luck trading in Asia. Keep an eye on that dollar yen. Here we are, one hundred six eighty, just above the New York session lows of one hundred six seventy two. Good luck. Cheers.